Dr. Hod, you're board certified anti-aging and regenerative medicine MD, here to talk to you guys about something very important, which is the difference between pharmaceutical grade or pharma grade peptides and research grade peptides. So pharma grade peptides are always gonna be from a licensed pharmacy. Research peptides are gonna be from a research facility. Pharma grade peptides are regulated by the FDA, the pharmacy board they are licensed under, as well as the DEA, whereas research peptides are unregulated because they are not meant for human use, they're meant for research purposes only. Pharma grade peptides have to be prescribed by a licensed physician in the state that you are getting them prescribed into. Research peptides can be given out by anybody, including naturopaths, chiropractors, therapists, health coaches, fitness trainers, influencers, the guy at the gym, or even you can get them yourself through the gray market online by yourself. Pharma grade peptides require strict lab testing, which is regulated under CGMP and USP sterile pharmacy guideline rules meaning that they have to be thoroughly tested for purity as well as for bacterial endotoxin to make sure they're safe, that you don't develop any serious life-threatening reactions. Just like every other pharmaceutical that we have, there's strict rules that regulate and govern pharma-grade peptides. Research-grade peptides do not have these rules. There are some research peptide companies that are doing CGMP testing. I would recommend those over the ones that aren't, but just keep in mind, this still is not a requirement because they're research-grade or they're meant for research purposes only. Pharma-grade peptides, because there is a licensed physician obtaining the medication from a licensed pharma pharmacy and a physician patient relationship, there has to be an informed consent to take place, which means the physician has to talk to the patient about safety, risks and benefits, actually discuss and create an informed consent to see if the patient is not at increased risk. And if the patient is, then this needs to be discussed with the patient. With research grade peptides, people are able to get them without the patient physician risk and benefit stratification and assessment. So pharma grade peptides come to you from the pharmacy on ice generally in a vial that's reconstituted, ready to inject and doesn't need to be mixed. Research peptides come to you generally in a lyophilized powder, which either you have to mix yourself or the person giving them to you has to mix them for you, or they might give them to you in pre-filled syringes. Generally, these would come as a powder that needs to be mixed. So make sure you ask these questions when somebody's giving you peptides. Are these research grade? Are they pharmaceutical grade? For your own long-term health and your own knowledge, it's important to know. If it is research grade, look for that third-party testing. See if it's from a CGMP certified facility. Look at the third-party testing, see if it's pure, and also see if other people have used that same company, have a good experience with it. If you want to know more about our pharmaceutical grade offerings for peptides, all of them are pharmaceutical grade and all of them are meeting all the criteria that I mentioned on this side of the table. But it's important to know what you're taking so you can make the right appropriate actionable changes in your health and the safe uh, changes that you need to make to optimize your health the most.